Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is the third video in the series for uh, controlling. So I already uploaded two videos. Please watch those videos. So let's discuss in this video what is basically is the controlling. What is controlling means? So there are three fundamental functions of controlling. The first thing is planning. We do the planning before the month starts. And then during the month we do execution of the activities which can you can say like revenue booking and expenses all these things and then at the end of the month we compare plan versus actual and then we arrive to the variance and then we how do we handle that variance that is called the settlement so this is overall the function of the controlling basically now let's talk about the product costing so first thing as the part of the first step we do the standard costing standard cost estimate for the product which we are going to manufacture and then during the month we do the production sale purchase everything and then at the end of the month we do the variance wip calculation and then settlement so now let's take an example of the manufacturing item so we are going to manufacture bike 10 bikes and we have created a material master for the bike the price which we set for this bike is 45100 this is the material we are going to manufacture now how did we arrive 45100 this is called the estimation we will estimate the cost of the product that to manufacture one piece of this product this may cost 45100 this may not be the exact but somewhere around this would be 45100 so how did we calculate this that we have the raw material that we will need the raw material to manufacture this bike let's say steel aluminium carbon filter fabrication and all and to buy this material from the past experience or from the quotations we have taken from the market we thought that this will cost around 20,000 okay and then we will need some semi-finished goods that's a tire we need the two tires so per tire 40 uh, 2300 is the price so two tires 4600 will be the price and then we will start the manufacturing so there would be few activities like design frame production assembly painting okay this is called the conversion cost so for this we have calculated that okay this may cost 10 hours to make a design of the bike and per hour we need we may need to pay 1000 to the engineer or to the labor so this will cost the 10000 similarly for frame production this will cost 1500 and for assembly to assemble all the parts this will cost 4000 and for pending 5000 so total how much we got is 45100 per unit if you if you manufacture one bike this will cost 45100 right now what should be the selling price so selling price will be uh, selling price equals to cogm plus margin cogm is what cost of goods manufactured okay this is the cost to manufacture the goods and then margin means how much profit we want to earn on this uh, this one unit of the product all right so let's say 45100 was the cogm and then we want to earn 50000 profit on this so now total this would be 95100 this would be your selling price now we got an order to manufacture 10 bikes so for 10 bikes this will cost for like 51000 okay now let's start the production work when we started the production work and when we started buying this uh, material raw material this actually costed 21000 whereas we estimated 20000 only right and for tire it was the same only 2300 per piece so 4600 for two tires and for other activities production activities you can see there is some variance like uh, 11000 here it was 10000 1600 so in total actually this has costed 47200 to manufacture one bike so actual cost of production for 10 bikes this will be 472000 whereas we have estimated 451000 okay now production department has delivered seven bikes we have ordered for 10 bikes they have delivered seven bikes three bikes are still in production okay so the cost of goods manufactured for seven bikes how much this would be 47200 multiplied by seven units so this would be 330400 right now this is the first month end okay in the first month end we have to do some month end activities 
okay so calculate the variance or the work in progress so wip is what consumption minus receipt consumption is what uh, this is the basically consumption so for 10 bikes to manufacture 10 bikes we have supplied raw material labor everything which which was 4 lakh 72 thousand and then receipt means how much they have produced and they have delivered to us so that was 3 lakh 30 thousand 400 right so the remaining cost is still in work in progress which is uh, 1 lakh 41 thousand 600 okay so in the first month we have wip 1 lakh 41 thousand 600 now in the second month next month we have received the remaining three bikes also and uh, what was the COGM for this it's the same thing like wip 1 lakh 41 thousand 600 let's assume there is no change this is the value of COGM now we are going to sell five bikes so when we sell the bike the accounting entry will be a cogs debit to inventory account credit means inventory will be reduced and your cogs cost of goods sold will be debited how did we arrive this price yeah you can see the plan cost which was 45100 right okay so this is the um cogs account debit to inventory account credit to like 25500 this is based on the standard price now when we do the billing since we have set the price uh, how much 95000 something right 95100 so the selling would be on that price so customer account debit to sales revenue right so this is 5 multiplied by 95000 So what is the profit basically profit sales minus cogs that would be your gross profit so sale is how much four lakh seventy five thousand and cog is how much two lakh twenty five thousand five hundred so how much is your gross profit this is gross profit because other things like uh, sales expenses admin expenses and all that we have not calculated that would be your uh, net profit on five bikes you are sent right on the five bike which you sold you are going to earn two lakh fifty thousand as a profit now in the second month and closing what happens we are going to calculate the variance so total cogm is how much four lakh seventy two thousand and total cost estimation how much it was four lakh fifty one thousand see here four lakh fifty one thousand was the estimation actual was four lakh seventy two thousand right so how much difference we got we got 21000 is the production variance difference we have got now ending inventory value at the standard cost this would be 5 multiplied by 45100 because 5 we have already sold out 5 is already sold out 5 is remaining and the value inventory value will be on the based on the standard price which is 45100 we have set in the material master now based on this calculation if you see your PNL, which is like before actual costing in the next step we'll, we will see the actual costing so as of now up to here if you see how much sale you have done you have done 4 lakh 75 thousand the sale which is credit and cogs is how much 2 lakh 25500 and the production variance which is 21000 so this is your net profit basically so now if you include on the uh, production variance as the as your expenses now you can see two lakh twenty eight thousand five hundred is your net profit okay now let's do the cost roll up in sps for hana we have material ledger activated which is mandatory so if you are using the actual costing in your system that means this is called the actual costing cockpit so material ledger so material ledger has the functionality of cost rolling up so what we do here is revaluation of the ending inventory so how do we do the revaluation is variance divided by total quantity so if you see variance how much it was 21000 and total quantities which we produced was the 10 so per quantity how much it is 2100 and then plus standard cost per quantity we set was 45100 so in total how much it comes this comes 47,200 which is called the periodic unit price or PUP so per bike now system will set in the material master PUP price as 47,200 okay 
now ending inventory value at the actual price if you see this would be now 2,36,000 earlier how much it was 2,25,500 so after the actual costing if you see your sales remains the same 4,75,000 right so sale is 4,75,000 credit and what is the COGS COGS is now now let's say revaluation of COGS variance multiply by sold quantities so variance we said 2100 per quantity and we sold five quantities so for five quantity this is 10500 and plus cogm at the time of sale it was to like 25500 so total how much it comes it comes to like 36000 is the your total cogs so you have to mention your total cogs to like 36000 now production variance there is no variance because variance we have distributed to cogs and your ending inventory so now if you see sales minus cogs how much is your net profit your net profit is actually 239000 earlier it was we were getting is 228500 okay but with the actual costing if you have implemented actual costing materializer then you will get the actual picture of your profit and loss account now what will be the accounting entry when you do the revaluation accounting entry for the actual costing run which is called the ckml cp the production variance will be credited cogs debit and fg stock account debit so this is the overall picture of uh, product costing the overall cycle you can say the start to end cycle and what is the impact of the material ledger which is called the actual costing okay i hope you like this video please do like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next video till then bye thank you